My name is Matt Muffman. I've been rowing for 15 years. I started rowing for Matthews High School actually when I was in 8th grade. Rode there for 5 years. Rode for Dartmouth College in Hanover, New Hampshire for 4 years. And then went to Boston. Rode for the Riverside Boat Club before making the national team in 2005. And been rowing for the national team since. Uh, favorite rowing memory was meddling in Stotesbury. Uh, we were, only had eight guys on the entire team. We had no other option than to row the men's varsity eight. And with eight guys against all the powerhouses, we still pulled off a medal and beat St. Joe's Prep. Uh, coming back from injury in 2007, 2008, um, after having two ribs removed and basically being told I could never row again to come back, train, and make the national team again was the hardest thing ever. Uh, I've come within probably a few hours of quitting rowing completely several times um, from bad camp experiences to bad races and uh, just the fact that I love being out on the water every day. I take a, a couple of days off or a couple of weeks off and then go for a row just for enjoyment and I'm hooked right away again. Finding my own personal limits and you know hitting the wall and being able to push that wall further and further back was the hardest thing I ever had to learn was when you want to quit to be able to push yourself through that uh, was a, a personal thing that took me a long time to not only find my limit but then to be able to push through it. From a coaching standpoint, I've I've seen a lot of coaches, a lot of different styles, a lot of ego that's gone into their coaching style. And there are some people, coaches say that it's absolutely one way or absolutely the other, and that's never worked well for me. Uh, being able to adapt is important, and that there's no right or wrong per se, but that there's together and not together. And eight guys working together is always going to be faster than eight individuals who are on their own race.